Um, I'm just, I was in the middle of having some tea and I thought I would just, I wanted to show you some things. Um, just to make a little, just a nice update video, I guess. So I'm drinking a green tea right now. See there, it's really nice and clear. And I had my strainer here because I was just took it in. And I want to show you, I mean, it's not going to look very good because it's, it's steeped already. But this is a green tea with puffed rice in it already. It's a Japanese green tea called Genmai Ja. Um, and this is, you know when you, if you go to a Japanese restaurant, a sushi restaurant, how their green tea tastes almost like rice. It has this delicious flavor to it. And that's what this kind of tea is. And I've never, it's hard to come by in stores. It's so, it's so nice. I really like it. So this, is, this is actually isn't, it's not a tea video. I wanted to show you something different, but since this was right here, I thought I would show it to you as well. This mug is so amazing. I love it. So I got a little surprise card yesterday for no reason. I don't know, it was really neat. <laughs> and I'll show it to you. I opened it already. So. I may believe Mr. Jessup, but I love Mr. Jessup. Canadian kids had three choices of TV shows in the 60s. And actually, what's kind of funny is I only had three choices as well because I only had an antenna when I was growing up and there was only one channel and it only had three kids shows on it. Many, many dogs, cats, and hamsters had the honor of being named Casey or Finnegan. Casey and Finnegan were puppets on the show. Mr. Dressup was loved by everyone was a fashion hipster before his time. Look at him. He had a tickle trunk. So Mr. Dressup is the Canadian equivalent of Mr. Rogers. He had this, um, there's a few different sets from what I remember. He had sort of like a kitchen where he did arts and crafts and things. And he also had an easel where he did drawings. And he had a room with a clock um, and a tickle trunk, which was a trunk that was filled with costumes, and he would dress up as many different things, hence his name. He put on different costumes. And then Casey and Finnegan were a dog and a boy, and they lived in a tree house in the backyard. And then there was also a trading post where they would go and they would... I don't remember what they did there. I obviously, I haven't seen this show in so long. But I remember they used to go to the trading post. <laughs> um, so I actually love Mr. Dressup and that's why I got this card. It was just a random card. This, I love him so much and he, my earliest memories of experiencing ASMR was from Mr. Dressup. He used to do one arts and crafts on every show or he would make something. Just a random arts and craft. And he also, on every show, he would go to his easel and he would do drawings. And he was very good at drawings. I'm sure, I don't even know if it was him. I'm sure it was him that was drawing. I loved watching Arts and Crafts and his instructions. It was just so, it was so great. I was, I loved this show. It was my favorite show. Because of the ASMR, I loved feeling special. Okay, so this card I got in the back, it's a Canadian Heroes. Very cute. On the inside it says, This card is for no reason other than that you are awesome. And that's so nice. It's so nice to have a cool card like this. If someone sees it, something, and they think of you, and decide to get it. 
Makes me feel special. Now I don't know what to do. I can show you. I'm going to show you something else cool that I got recently. I actually made these. I had them made. They are my new business cards. I got them from a website that does a whole bunch of multiple. You can get as many images as you want on your cards. It's moo.com. Um, they're so cool. They're so nice too. So this is one of them. It's a drawing I did a while ago. Stars. On the back it says my name and flute slash piccolo performer or private instructor and it has all my information. I know this isn't really musical related but I just thought it looked really neat. And it kind of expresses it's my own expression in art. This is another design I have. Another drawing that I've done. It's very silly. I, I like this one. I think it turned out the best as a card. The colors are amazing. I want to go in this forest. They all have the same thing on the back. This one is the wrong way. <laughs> A drawing of my city with more stars and sailboats. Hmm. Sunset or something. This one, the image didn't. I they didn't give me an option of cropping the image. Like when you go in to do this, um, you can move it back and forth depending on your picture, but it wouldn't let me kind of shrink it down for some reason. I should have done that before uploading the image. Actually, it's my own fault. The last one is my only real musical one, and that's me. My own flute. This is a very old picture, by the way. I don't look very much like that. <laughs> um, I made this. I drew and cut out all of these, taped them to my wall, my old apartment. And I left it up there for quite some time. My favorite was, I really loved that bird, and cuttlefish, it's really cool, the same information on the back. This one, I, I like the way it turned out, but the, it's very dark, and the coloring is a little bit weird, um, the way it turned out, but otherwise I think it's really, really neat, and I would give this out. What do you think? It's like a business card or what? So I haven't actually given out any of my business cards yet, um, but it's good to have them. And I have a, a box. Um, of 50 of these. I just pulled these ones out. One of each. And so there's like quite a few of each design. So that'll last me quite a while. I'm really excited about them. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to talk about today. I hope that you uh, have a very long, a very good night, a good day. I think you're feeling very relaxed and happy. Even though we're approaching sort of the second half decline of summer, soon it will be fall, which in my opinion is the best season in Canada or I guess wherever. I love the fall and I can't wait.